just not me. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. You call it an honest mistake. Science calls it a blind spot. Our unconscious mind is a mysterious and powerful thing. It makes 90% of our decisions without us even knowing it. Our brains are overloaded with 11 million pieces of information every second. Yet we can only process about 40 of them. So we're wired to make cognitive shortcuts, using past experiences to make assumptions. And you know what happens when we assume. It's so easy to place people in boxes, drawing lines, creating sides. There's us, and there's them. Those we feel comfortable around, and those we don't. There are those of us with many chapters, and those just starting their own stories. There's the well-to-do, and those doing what they can. There are those we share something with, and those we don't seem to share anything with. Our unconscious mind can put us on autopilot, determining where we sit, who we eat lunch with, who we turn to for advice, and who we choose to offer a helping hand. Living our lives with blind spots can put us in a tunnel. Same point of view, same decisions, same outcomes. We can find ourselves trapped in the land of snap judgments and misconceptions. We've all been on both the giving and receiving end of blind spots. Think about it. Who's talented? Who's able? Who can I trust? Who belongs? We've all been there. Blind spots are part of the human condition. Our choices have consequences for us and the people we interact with. By accepting that blind spots exist, we can stop. Imagine what possibilities exist if we could do it all over again. Different perspectives, inclusive relationships, diverse networks, better outcomes, seeing people for who they really are. People like you with unlimited potential. We all have blind spots. Once you accept that you have them, you can choose to do something about it. It's time to check your blind spots and focus on what's possible.